So today we're going to take a look at update 0.62 for DayZ and all that it delivers, including a beautiful sunrise comparison between 0.61 and 0.62, new trees and foliage, new locations and changes to existing locations, as well as all new ambient sounds bringing new life to Chernerus. First off, I'd just like to quickly say we had a lot of fun immersing ourselves in the new wooded areas. We didn't meet many players other than the player in the intro that sadly stood in the way of our vehicle, but all the new features that 0.62 offers allowed us to survive the elements of Daisy in a whole new light. From a variety of approximately 1.7 million hand-placed trees, making the wooded areas a lot more of an atmospheric place to explore alone or with friends. It's beautiful, but sometimes spooky as hell. Along with the new tree models, denser forests and new clutter, grass and small plants, there's also a new shader for the wind, affecting the trees and grass. But that's not all the wind affects. It also affects smoke grenades and the rain, as well as chimney smoke from a fireplace inside a house. As you can see from these few clips here, the rain, chimney smoke and smoke grenade all seem to be blowing in a southern direction. While later on in the day, myself and Lukic had to light another fire inside a house due to rain, and then the smoke from the chimney was blowing to the east. A small detail, I know, but it all adds to the realistic survival experience you're going to have in 0.62 and beyond. Now let's take a quick look at the comparison between 0.61 and 0.62, Solanishni Sunrise, and take note of the new tree models, new clutter, improved wind behaviour affecting the trees and foliage, as well as the new ambient sounds. During the recording of the comparison, I tried to get the time of day as close as possible. I'm fairly confident I was accurate in my estimation, taking note of the moon's position in the sky. By the way, did you notice we have a new moon and sun? If you missed it, check it out in the comparison. You may have also noticed the tweaked and changed lighting for the world. There are also new surface textures, and while myself and Lukic were exploring, we could not stop taking screenshots of our surrounding areas, especially around Green Mountain, where the clouds seem to have a green tinge to them. Bit strange that we only noticed this around Green Mountain, but it really added a spooky atmosphere to that area of Chernerus. Apart from being freaked out around Green Mountain, we also took many screenshots throughout the day and night of other wooded areas around Chernerus, some of them looking extremely natural and realistic. And of course, with all the new wooded areas and foliage, you've got to try the reworked ghillie, made to be consistent with the new tech. And from our tests, if your ghillie suits the right colour for the foliage you're hiding in, you're going to give somebody a right old bushwicky surprise. So a huge thank you to the legend that is, Yorkie, for providing us with the full ghillie suit. 
After all our 0.62 tests and adventures, we finally made it to Zelenogorsk, and the military has been reworked. Here are a few screenshots and video clips that you can see what it looks like. On top of that, a huge part of the western area of the map has been redesigned, as well as the train track going from southwest coast to northwest, making the train track of Chernarus a full circle. I will leave a link in the description, as always, to Daisy TV's 0.62 heat map, where you can see all the changes made in more detail. Of course, the best way of experiencing it all is to explore yourself, but we did take a couple of snaps of the new big dam on the west side of the map, as well as the new large castle. Not to give too much away, but these areas are jaw-dropping. But if you're curious to know the new railway stone bridge location that senior map designer Adam was keen to show off a few status reports ago, it's located at Tarovo on the northern highway between Svetlo and Novo. So to summarize update 0.62 to Day Z, we have new tree models, denser forests, new clutter, grass and small plants, new surface textures, improved wind behavior, new shader for the wind, affecting trees and grass, tweaked and changed lighting for the world, small improvements to satellite textures, rain affected by wind and refinement of its behavior in general, many reworked locations on Chernarus, mainly to the west, reworked Gilly to be consistent with the new tech, small bug fixes to some issues from 0.61, and new ambient sounds. Let me know if I missed anything from 0.62 Experimental. It won't be long before we see it on Stable Branch, and then the wait for 0.63 and Beta begins. Personally, I see 0.62 as a great stepping stone. I did not expect new trees and ambient sound to make such a difference, but it really brings the world of Chernarus to life. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below on 0.62. Have you had as much fun as I have just exploring, making campfires, and taking it all in? All links will be in the description below as always. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you like the content that I create, and I'll see you peeps next time.